Let's have a conversation about our favorite cereal mascots. We don't really have those anymore. Yeah, I don't even know any. The the weird, like, Cthulhu god that's on the cr- crunching of cornflakes. Or just regular cornflakes. What? The chicken. Yeah, the fucking chicken thing. That's just a chicken. I, I know, but I always see him as, like, the sizes of a planner or something. <laughs> Because there's no context. There's nothing to measure him against. The bowl. The bowl of cereal. Yeah, but we don't know how far back from that he is. He could be a million fucking miles and he's still that big. He could be it's tiny. It's frightening. He could be tiny and right up against the camera. He can't because he's behind the bowl. He's at least large, but... Po- like, I I think Kellogg's are fucking weird. I think they're just some weird shit and I don't like it. Like, like, imagine how powerful he is. Everyone believes in him. Do you think he's called, like, Mr. Kellogg's? Yeah, I'd say so. I'd say somewhere at, like, Kellogg's HQ... You open a door, and it's just this, like, fucking coliseum-sized room, and it's him sitting in the middle, and he's like... <laughs> and every now and then, like, the Kellogg's... You have to fight him. Every now and then, the Kellogg's head-ups, like, they come and they ask him, and they sacrifice a couple of people to him, and then he's like... We're crunching us. And then they make more crunch. Like, I think that <laughs> definitely happens. <laughs> And intern has to get him coffee, and it's just a test to see if he'll eat them or not. Yeah. And if you get in and out by <laughs> and serve him that coffee. That's right, Dermot, just a little closer. <laughs> <laughs> he won't bite. He inhales. How come there are any, like, sexy cereal mascots? Like, why aren't the Tony boy- the Tiger. Tony, Tony is like a gay icon. Really? Yeah, yeah. he was chased off Twitter from, ter- uh, from the furries. Really? They were super thirsty from him, and I mean... He's Tony the Tiger. Yeah. I never saw... He, he's is shredded. It, is, yeah, he, he's you know what, He is pretty ripped. He's way hotter than Coco Monkey. <laughs> oh, I would not date Coco Monkey. Oh, Ugh, Jesus, can you imagine? Yeah, I really like the Shogun Puffs, dude. Well, he's great. He's cool. Hey, yeah. everybody. He'll break into your house and have a spliff with you. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. I feel like, you, I think, I feel like <laughs> you'd hang out with him for a little bit. It'd be so much fun. And he'd be like, check out this crazy cartwheel I could do. And then, like, he'd be like, okay. And he's like, I'm getting dinner after this. Do you want to come? And you'd be like, yeah, sure. And then you get to dinner. And, like, first thing, he takes a bump of Coke straight away. <laughs> and, then, and, and then he's like, you want to come to our strip club? And it's like, well, I, I don't know, Mr. Sugar Puff Monster. But you can't stop him at that point because he's too strong. It's not a party if it happens every night. It's not a party if it happens every night. <laughs> that's, that's his life. But yeah, cereal mascots, that's a, it's a dangerous game. And what a way to start this episode. What a way. We were all so freaked out that we wouldn't be able to start this episode. There we go. But here we are. John, can you tell us which episode number we're on? 74. Nice one. Yep. Did you, did you practice beforehand? I didn't, but I just remember getting 73 super wrong. <laughs> It's the only way I ever learn anything, to do it wrong a bunch of times and then I get it right. That's okay. It's not really, it's very, yeah, it's, it's, it's really not. 